everybody and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a hair tutorial and I curl my hair usually with a straightener I'm going to be using is this new me straight I usually set my straightener to like the highest um, temperature because since my hair is curly and hard to tame I do have to use like a higher temperature and these curls that I'm about to show you guys how to do, they do last a very long time. Like legitimately, sometimes I don't wash it for like two days. Literally, these curls are still um, really nice. They just get loose, but it's like you can still see the curl. I actually really like how my curls look as the days go by because I don't know why when I first do them curled and more tighter and then the second day they're more loose and wavy and the third day they're more like wavy so you basically get like three different curls in a matter of three days if that makes any sense but yeah like um for instance like i don't wash my hair every single day of the week because it's just not healthy for your hair you do need those oils so i do um, i do like to curl my hair and have it for a few days and i really like how it looks because as the days progress my curls just look a little different each day and they just i feel like they get better each day but that's my opinion so I'm going to show you guys the products that I use so I did last night just wash my hair um, and I, already, I let it air dry but the product that I do use this is actually meant for um, it's called Firewall Argan Shine and Flat Iron Spray and this is how it looks so I this is like my all time favorite right now um, I really like it. I always apply this now before I strain my hair or before I curl my hair. It works as a healing like this product. It leaves your hair feeling so smooth. The products for my hair to prep my hair before I start going and strain and curl my hair. And another thing that I use when I do curl my hair, I use this um, wet brush. And this brush is specifically made for thick hair. Um, they do have two different brushes. One is like the regular kind and then this one's like for thick hair. And I do have the thick hair one. I got this one at Target. I have like my normal just pins so that I can just um, section my hair while I am curling it. So if you guys want to see how I curl this insane hair, I don't know if you can see, it's just like a huge mop on my hair right now. So if you guys want to see how I turn this into beautiful curls, keep on watching. First thing that I like to do before hand, I like to just like spray this all over my hair. And I like to make sure I get it like on the tips of my hair. And it smells really good. Whenever you spray it, you feel like just it's like softening up your hair. So it's really nice. I purchased this like a beauty store here in Toronto. I can't remember what the store was called. It's like beauty tools or something like that. I'm not sure, but I'm sure I could find it online. And I will list this product down in the description of box. So the first thing that I do is I just brush my hair out. Every time I brush my hair out, I just leave like a whole wig on the floor. <laughs> so I'm just going to brush it out and it's just going to turn into a huge like puff ball. heat in my hair and not have to retouch it up like for a few days and that just prevents me from having to put more heat into my hair so I rather put heat once in three days so yeah that's a tip if you don't want to put so much heat in your hair you just use it one day and then you have hairstyle for three days so that's what I like to do. So just 
make sure to brush out all the knots out and make sure everything is well. So then after you're left with this huge puff bot, if you have hair like I do, so what I like to do is I like to part my hair into two different sections and do I do one side and then I do the other side. So I'm just going to look crazy right now and I'm just going to part it down the middle, but just down the middle. <laughs> so then I'm just going to get like a little hair tie and just tie this side off. Please excuse the noise in the background. There is construction every single day from the point I wake up to like five o'clock and it's so annoying because here in Toronto, there's two seasons. One season is winter and the other is construction season. For the background noise, if you are hearing like slamming and stuff, it is the construction that is going on outside. So I just basically part it into two and I just again I brush it to make sure that I have no knots and so the first thing that I do I like to start off from the bottom so I'm just going to go from down here I'm going to just leave this out and I just twist it up and then I just clip this up here And then I'm just going to brush it out with my fingers like this. Okay, so I'm going to section off these two pieces. So this piece of hair, I'm going to section it off into two. And then I'm going to just clamp this on here. And I like to just straighten the root a little bit. So then I go here and I just flip this part of the hair over and I follow it with like twisting over the straightener and I just hold this at the ends like this and I just pull down and then you get your little curl like that so then again you just clamp this to the top of your hair and just strain it and then you just flip it over and then you just twirl the little straightener and then you just pull down the like that, and you just get a nice curl like this. start from the back and I just brush it up and then I just I just straighten the top part of it like the root part so it won't be so frizzy and I just take the straightener and just make this motion like this and just flip it again twirl the straightener and and again I can just do it again if I saw that the curl didn't really go through I just do that again and like that 
and I just throw it to the back and then I just part these two again straighten this part like this flip it over twirl the straightener and then pull like that and then just you just twirl it a little bit so like the curve can happen and then you get your nice curl and I'll show you again so then you just straighten it flip over and then just pull through like that just throw it to the back and then there you have this last piece. I usually part my hair to the right. So I'm always going to be putting this this way. So I just, basically the key, the key steps are straighten, flip, twirl your straightener and pull. Okay, so it's straighten. So you can like just remember, this is how I remember it. So just straighten flip, twirl the straightener, and just pull like that. Like that. Ooh. Just pull it like thus. And you have your nice curled so I'm just going to take that off. I'm just gonna brush this out. Flip it over and pull. legitimately it takes you like 30 minutes to like 25 to 30 minutes 35 minutes around there but you'll get the hang of it because at first it's kind of like awkward like it's just for me it was awkward because I'm a lefty possibly that's why it was awkward but yeah it was a little awkward for me so this is how I normally just curl my hair sometimes it comes out tighter it depends a lot on how much product I use the one that I showed you guys previously so yeah so if you guys want them to be a little bit more tighter you don't want to put so much product so if you guys are looking for like if you're busy and you just want to curl your hair and you want it to last for a few days this is a great method to do because it will last you a very long time I promise you. yeah if you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial uh, please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and I'll see you guys all in my next video